take this opportunity to introduce you to the new CareLink reports for the 670G system. As you can imagine, we've worked hard to make these reports as meaningful as possible. There's essentially three new reports, and let me show you which I think is the place to start. So this is an overview of all the glycemia as well as a fair amount of statistics. And what's unique about this report is you have the opportunity to compare two time periods. So perhaps when you're starting somebody first on 670G, you might want to compare them to when they were in open loop. But as they've been on the system longer, perhaps you want to compare them to the last time you saw them in clinic. So you can see that there's two time periods. You can set them and they have to be within the last year time frame. And then we'll give you the sensor overlay for those two time periods on top of each other. So the inner quartile range in the shaded area from the 25th to the 75th percentile, the median line and then to the 10th and 90th percentile with the uh, colored line itself. You can see this report goes from midnight to midnight. And I think you can appreciate in this, for example, that the night time period has a narrowing of glycemic control as well as an improvement. You can see the meals, and of course, we're always going to see a meal, a postprandial rise in glucose, as you'd expect. Then, in addition, you can look at the carb ratios that you had set for those two time periods. And the reason we're emphasizing the carb ratios is that these are what you are essentially responsible for. So you can see that if you made a change, what did that lead to as far as the meals themselves were concerned? Then in this middle area, we call out the hypoglycemic patterns as well as the hyperglycemic patterns. And then for this, we're really emphasizing only the time period that you're looking at in the present. Then one of my favorite new areas is these two bars that actually essentially compare the time in target above and below for these two time periods. And you can appreciate perhaps that more time or longer time on closed loop perhaps improves time in target and diminishes hyperglycemia. Then this area I think is very critical for you to focus on in that it shows the auto mode exit. So why the system brought the patient out of auto mode and compares again the two time periods. Here's the listing of all the reasons somebody can be brought out of auto mode. And for example, um, for this they required a BG for auto mode and it was not given by the patient. So some of this you can use to counsel the patient as to their behaviors, particularly their behaviors that will enable them to stay more time in auto mode. And then this is the usual statistics of comparing the amount of time in auto mode, manual mode, sensor wear, average SG, how that would be an estimated A1C, average BG, uh, total daily dose, the bolus amount of insulin delivered compared to the basal amount. And I think we have appreciated that in auto mode, there is a decreasing amount of basal insulin delivered and an increasing amount of bolus. So you can check for that here. And then also some of their behaviors as far as meals and carb entries. And then the other thing you're responsible for, the active insulin time setting for auto mode. 